Hello everybody, Dawn here again, and we are back in Scrapyard Survival. Driving around, dust storm just cleared, I just... Uh, just grabbed down a small buggy wreck that I found. Nothing too exciting, but got some sort of a structure over here. Uh, and we still do have the uh, wind turbine over there with the goodies I've placed on the ground. But we did the wind turbine last episode. I don't necessarily want to do the exact same thing two episodes in a row. Plus I want to give a chance to maybe have some, uh, some suggestions of what I could have done better on that. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a little bit. We will be grabbing that at some point in the near future. Um, these have a bunch of girders and stuff. Why can't I interact with that? Chop you down. Back it. And interact with it. What fell out? Uh, credits? He's acting kind of weird right now. I can't interact with any of these. Ooh, power cells. Uh, I don't care about the ammunition. Check the dumpster. The dumpster could have something good in it. Hmm. Tubes. Mm, small cargo container. What you got? Nothing. And I think that's everything in there. Another storm immediately kicked off. Oh, yep, we have this. Uh, oh, and we have a shed over there, too. Um, hmm. Offset spotlights. Oops, small battery. Oh, I need computers. I have computers. Access denied. Not mine. It's below the hack, but it's not changed. Okay, I'm going to reload the game. <clears throat> Things are really weird because I'm, I'm getting it below the hack and then I'm building it up, so it should. It should be working to transfer ownership. So we're just going to do a quick relog. Tracers work both ways. Yes.
But if you have enough bullets coming from your location, it makes it hard to shoot back. So. If the only incoming shots are from that direction. Loading. Let's see if this fixes it. <laughs> I'm gonna pause that just to make sure that that's not messing with anything in the background. Causing like hard drive lag or something. Because I'm both reading and writing and downloading files to the same hard drive, so maybe that, maybe that could be the. We shall see. Almost there. Okay, so we're back in now. Go with slower grinder. Hmm. Let's troubleshoot this a little bit. Uh, ooh, I don't have enough computers. And computers. Uh, what would have computers? Ooh, yes. I can access you now. Mm, nothing. We do have computers. So this is at least working. <gasps> Proficient welder. Gosh. <laughs> Don't care about that stuff. It's raining. Okay, let's come back out here. Uh, let's go into character tools and swap over that welder. Gosh. Uh, okay. Let's see. Still short. I don't have any components in there. Mm, this does have two control seats. With no computers in it, though. Inventory full. Hmm. Go empty the cargo. We'll go check the shed. Hello, shed. What goodies do you have for me? Anything with computers? Ooh, programmable block. Hmm. The last time I did this. I blew myself up. There was something something 
clanged out, maybe? I don't know. It's below the hack line. Okay. So that is working now. Okay, really, really weird. Mm. Oh. Got you first. Um. No. I don't know. Battery? Battery? Uh, what do we have here? More... More batteries. Ooh! Ooh, yes. Uh, that's a total of six batteries. Uh, all blocks. Oh, yeah, I can't make those. Um, never mind. Energy low. Do I not have any computers? I think I put all my computers in here. I did. Okay. Mm, that's gonna need two power cells. That needs two power cells. That needs two power cells. Okay. Very carefully. We have three small batteries. And three husks of batteries. Okay. Uh what do we what do we, what do we do? in there. Recharge the suit energy. Can probably get some motors from places here. Okay. This suspension. You have a motor. You have a motor. You have a motor, and you have a motor. again. Anything in here that has motors? Girders? Uh, drop that stuff off. This shelf has quite a bit of goodies in it. Mm. 
nothing really of importance. In those. Yeah. Yeah. No. No motors. I don't think I have anything in this one. Uh, I do have some motors there. Okay. Low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Very carefully. Lock you there. Grab next one. You are locked in place. You are not locked in place. You are locked in place. I think those are a little close together. They're locked. And there. Okay. Everything's locked in place. Move on. Nope, we got something over here. Didn't see what it was, though. Hundred meters. Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna go for that unknown signal. Eight hundred meters has got to be beyond that hill. I don't even see it. Huh? What? Okay, we'll go over here then. Mm. Wheelbase should be wide enough. This shouldn't be too steep. Enough. Uh, sure. Full send. <laughs> I probably should add. Because now I'm going to pickle. It's fine. I don't have anything bulky on the front. Um, okay, I see something out that way. Let's go around this hill. See what that structure was. I'm still looking for actual proper storage for this rover. We can get rid of these connectors that aren't actually connecting. It's a stopgap at best. And I would like to stop using it. Uh, 
Uh, so we got a better grinder now. We have a better welder. Which is really good. We've got a decent handle on power, which will get even better once we get that other um, other windmill back to base, as long as nothing terribly bad happens. Because the batteries charge up much faster with uh, more turbines, which means less idle time sitting at the base waiting for batteries to charge. More time getting out and about and salvaging the good stuff. What is this thing? Um, just a railroad track? Okay. I gotcha. <laughs> that looks like that looks so goofy. Mm, we'll just kind of go this way for a bit. I don't think we've gone to the southwest yet. Now, if I can find another one of those cranes, um, it is safe to go up the ladder. And I have seen a way to bring the tower down. Uh, it, it did kind of go boom a little bit. But some stuff was recovered from it. And the... Uh, uh, the trap portion didn't go off. So. It's just a matter of, or not, if it lands softly enough to not break the important bits out of it. I don't know how well the planet is seated this way. So we might might have a little bit of a gap in uh, POI generation. I'm fairly certain I have not come over here yet. And one of the downsides of playing single player is I've got nobody nobody else driving around and generating POIs. So, it makes it a little slower to to get some stuff. So, kind of what I do might be a little I'll just do that when I drive into a new into a new area where there realistically should be stuff. Um because it's not supposed to be like a barren planet. There's there's supposed to be stuff around. And I haven't I have not gotten um, MES configured properly to actually spawn as often as I would like. It's it's still spawning things pretty sparsely. And I don't want to have to drive to the other side of the planet to actually find something. I ain't got time for that. There was something up on here. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. 
a pretty steep, steep incline. I think maybe. Ooh. Didn't like that. Nope, 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 nope. Mistakes were made. Thank you, Gyro. Save me, Gyro. stuck. Can I fix it? Yes, I can. Ah. That's why gyros are so important. Having the functional gyro is amazing. Not having the functional gyro is bad. That's why it was priority number one to get a functioning gyro. And also widen the wheelbase. How do I get up there? I'd have to make a ramp up there. Mm, maybe I can get up this. Doesn't look as bad. Not great. Wouldn't really want to come down this with any type of weight on me. Uh, like on the end of the crane. Watch there actually not be anything up here. <laughs> uh, I could have swore I saw a building up here. Really nothing up here. I swear I saw something up here. Oh boy. Lock. Lock the wheels. Um Yeah, there's something up here. I just haven't gone far enough. I had to go quite a bit around to get some terrain that was passable. So this is a shack up here. Okay, another one of these places. Ooh, it's got a little truck. No wheels on it, though. <gasps> is that a cargo box? Josh! Oh. oh my goodness. Uh, don't care about you. Don't care about you. You're crap. You're no good. Uh, got a bunch of stuff. I'll take you. No thank you. Um, no thank you. No thank you. Girders, yes, please. Mm, 
hand drill. Don't care. Another enhanced grinder. Okay. Sure. I'll take the pistol. Another plushie. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay. We got the good bits out of that. Got the dumpster. Uh, small conveyor tube. Oh, God. No cargo boxes. Okay. Nothing too amazing there. Let's drop you guys all off. Uh, okay. You grab you. Oh, what's in my build planner? Get out of there. What do you got? Ooh. Okay. Get you off of there. <sighs> How do I get this thing back? Um, yeah, you've all got stuff in you. So, I think what I need to do is egg plate. To the side here somewhere. Uh, what do I need? Steel plate. Or mag plate. Um, actually, I could get it with a crane. No. Because <laughs> uh, it's not set to auto lock. Uh, yep, yeah, that's that's why. Go to the slower grinder for this. Then mag plate. Uh, Cover the port up, but eh, I guess I will. Okay, you're locked. Uh, okay, what other goodies does the truck possess for me? Small conveyor. 
you have batteries. I will always take batteries. Always need spare batteries, because bad things can happen. Whoa. Like tripping over stuff that you've uh, detached. truck. Fine. Let's go around the side. That's all the good bets. Now we gotta check the shed. conveyor. Oh. Now it's got... It's only got one of the three med components. Um... Oof. This is going to be super sketchy getting down. Welcome air tube. Okay. How do I do that? We mm, mag plate. I need steel plates. Okay. Now have officially, I think, the fullest load we've brought back. Uh, oh, I still have those batteries over there. Uh, I still have three batteries. I got so many damn mag plates on this thing.
that. And have you. Okay. Um, let's give a double check on here. Could use the exhaust pipe to have like the a flame stack shooting out, give me light at night. I don't think I would. Let's stop here. How much steel plate do I have? Not much. A little bit more. Okay, we're getting better. And some there. Okay. Can I actually make a ramp down for myself? I just want to get back home. Um, hmm... So if we do this, big blocks. Uh, line to the gravity, trying to sink you in the ground. There, there, and there. really get me down far. Not quite working the way I wanted it to. I think my trying to take a shortcut is just making it harder in the long run. Definitely don't want to go down that way. No. Slow down. Go this way. And that is way too steep right there. We'll keep going. Because if I roll it now and destroy this cargo container that I finally found, I'm going to be super upset with myself. And we get home. This way that I came up. I think it might have been. Up here. Come this way. Ride the brake. Uh, no.
This is steep, but it's short. And the gyro will help. Okay. Ooh, buddy. Was not nearly as smooth as I wanted it to be on the transition down. But it works. Uh, so hopefully, next time, for the next episode, I will have this cargo container actually mounted. Oh, we got something else over here. Oh my goodness. We'll at least see what it is, and if it's anything good, we'll mark it. Because uh, I don't... I do have the crane. I do have the crane. I'm not fully loaded. We are heading back towards the base. This isn't even really a base yet. I haven't... I haven't really built much. Who's even out here? Okay, I see kind of the blurry outline of it popping in. Because we never know. It might be another cargo container. It might be something with med components. Because if I can get like a small grid um, out of like chassis built over there that's always connected to power, that gives me a respawn point at the base. Should anything bad happen. And once I get enough materials, should anything really bad happen, I might be able to actually re rebuild the rover. Like, build an actual rover from scratch. Uh, what do we have here? All conveyors. Uh, functional air vent. Inventory full. Oops. Inventory is full. Uh, small battery. I mean, we could just like chuck this entire thing on the end of the crane and take the entire thing back kind of the purpose of having a crane to bring things back probably nothing up here but I gotta check Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. I think what we do... Probably against my better judgment... Inventory full. Oh yeah. Inventory's full. Take you off. Because you're just steel blocks. I don't care about you. Steel blocks are nice. But I don't plan on building, like, a base yet. But I don't technically need those. I think this has got some goodies in it. I might want. It's got a bunch of batteries and such. Small cargo containers. Okay. I could be getting exceptionally greedy here. I should say I probably am getting exceptionally greedy here. I'm gonna try a side pickup. Um, okay. Put 
Locked to the ground. Here. Out. Eh, 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 eh. Don't do that. There. Come back in. Got it. Okay. So now lift it up. Get it there. Pull it in. Rotate it forward, center of mass. Lower and then out, unlock. No, hit the right buttons, Tom. Or unlock. Okay, four kilometers back home. Mm, probably need to raise this some. Just because it's going to smash into the ground if I don't. And I don't want it to blow up on the end of my crane. Okay, first partial vehicle recovery. Holy crud, are we, we are loaded down with goodies. I don't even have a trailer yet for this thing. And of course, Sandstorm's going to come in. Sandstorm comes in when I leave base and when I come back to base. And as per usual, I'm going to keep the recording going until I get safely back because high chance of catastrophic failure. I'm going to slow down as we get to the crest. person I think I need to go this way past this one nope yeah those kind of count as like vegetation they look like they're giant rocks and I think I'm gonna blow my wheel off but they just crumble I'm just toggling the third person when it's getting 
a little bit off center and when I'm cresting, just in case I've got a roll control with the gyro. But I want to be in first person so I can see the actual like uh, apex of the dune. I might just need to stop here at this power tower. Then wait for wait for better conditions to travel back. Ooh, ooh, that tried to nosedive on me. I was riding on just my front wheels. I think we got a bunch of goodies over here to grab as well. I've, I've completely lost count of how many small batteries I grabbed. It's it's several. We'll have to do a quick count. Yeah, because we got a pile of goodies here. Okay, there's that. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine small batteries. Two more there. An extra programmable block, an inset light, air vent, a beacon. Uh, survival kit that needs a lot of stuff. To probably just see what I can actually pop in there. I don't need two computers. Am I really out of computers? Yeah. I think I'm actually out of computers. Yep, computers are there. Yeah, those are med kits. Okay, so that's welded up as much as I can do. Um, then we have that to grab. I don't think there was anything else of importance in here. We got two kilometers to go. There is that crane way over there uh, that I need to go back to. Oh, yeah. Where's my other plushie? I gotta figure out where to put the plushie. <laughs> uh, plushie might go on the trailer whenever I build the trailer. But we're gonna end it here because I'm getting tired. Uh, and that's just going to increase the likelihood of me screwing up catastrophically. And I don't want to do that. Um, how much power do we have in these things? Uh, stored power. Oh, jeez. That's almost full still. Uh, one kilowatt, or one megawatt. We got 950 kilowatts. Yeah, so just sitting here, it, it could sit like here for two days. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Great shot. We got a thumbnail. <laughs> See you guys for the next episode. Bye.